Can you expect the unexpected? See, throughout my entire life, people have expected things for me, of me, and from me. My mom. She expects for me to go straight to college right after high school. She says I should travel and to try new things. My neighbors, they expect for me to always have an honor roll to give them something to talk about. My siblings and my one friend, they expect for me to always be there for them when they need me. My pastor, she expects for me to always use the Lord as every excuse possible. <laughs> These are the people that are in my life. And last but not least, me. I have expectations for myself too. I expect for me to succeed and to achieve in every goal I've ever set. That being said, now let me tell you all a short story about me. As a little girl in elementary school, kindergarten to fifth grade, I was more of this shadow rather than a light. I would wear these big black hoodies during, before, and after school, occasionally. I never spoke to anyone and I would always sit in the back of the classroom where I felt as if no one would ever notice me. Although I knew plenty of the answers to many subjects such as science, math, or reading, I never rose my hand. I loved to learn, and yet I hated to be caught upon. Did anyone else hate to be caught upon in class? Due to me being this way, no one expected anything of me, nothing, not even a side glance, until one day came my fifth grade graduation. This is the day I decided I would leave everything behind and to start off on a new slate, you know? And when I walked into the building, it was as if no one recognized me, no one noticed me, no one knew who I was. Not even my teachers, the ones who supported and motivated me. They didn't even expect for me to show up. But without my sad looks of depression and my big black hoodie, along with the fact that I was actually wearing a dress and actually wearing open toe shoes, you might as well say it was in on me. And it was this day that became so significant to me because I learned that you cannot judge a book by its cover because there are so much within the pages that are often left unread. Now, I'm about five foot three and as bold and firm as lightning in the night sky. My name is Dyra Wills. And what people often forget is that things don't always go as planned. For example, on April 15th of this year, 2019, my grandmother, Sally Mae Coffey, had passed away. My grandmother was the only, and I mean only, person I could be truly honest with. I expected for her to be sitting in a chair one day, watching me walk across the stage, and for her to say to me, congratulations, I'm proud of you, or even, you did it. And for me to look her in her eyes and say, thank you, grandmother. With her bright smile and curly hair, my grandmother was my angel on earth. I could go to her on my good days and tell her about the good times, and she would never judge me. And then I would go to her on my bad days and tell her about the bad times, and she would only give the best advice. My grandmother 
was an angel. Although I was in the ninth grade at this time, when my grandmother passed away, I never envisioned anything to happen to me or her. It never crossed my mind. I didn't expect it to happen. I wasn't ready for the unexpected. And when I least expected anything to happen, that's when it did. Someone once told me that a journey of a thousand miles starts with only one step. Here we are today. Little did we know that a year, and for some, even a month ago, we would be sitting in this auditorium with me, once the shyest girl in the school, standing before you, telling you all about my past life experiences. But a journey of a thousand miles starts with only one step. To get to where I am now, from that shadow in elementary school to this 10th grader, during her first TED Talk, I had to have an open mindset. I never got my hopes up too high for them to come crashing upon me when I least expected them to. A journey of a thousand miles starts with only one step. Now, if I could go back to elementary school and give that little girl three words of advice before her graduation, I would say to her to expect the unexpected. You should be cautious and be ready for things to happen. Two, I would tell her to be brave. You should never let anyone run over you and you should always conquer a challenge. And three, I would tell her to never be afraid. You can always replace the word fear with the word faith. Now, all of my friends, let's learn from our failure so we can build from it. Your only limitations are your expectations. And as said before, a journey of a thousand miles starts with only one step. Thank you.